One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this here is gonna be the interior review of this beautiful 1978 Grand Marquis Wagon Colony Park Edition. I'm gonna do a quick once around because it is a different time of night. And so you can see different things on the car in different ways. And I've already done the test drive video. So this is a nice car. If you're looking for a nice old car that looks really good that you could drive around and maybe repaint someday if you wanted to. I mean, I don't know. It would take an awful lot for me to have to repaint it. I'd kind of save them little spots on it real quick and drive as is. That's all there is to it. Okay, that's your once around. And with that, we're going to go ahead and show you the interior. Door panels, they look great on this car. I can see a little piece of tape on the bottom. It's only taped up because that seal here is missing. And he was probably trying to connect that better, but a piece of that is missing. Um, overspray on the door jams. That's the bottom too. This stuff is a little getting dated, as I said. Seats, absolutely beautiful. Not all ripped and torn up in any way, shape, or form, however. There's a little tear there and a couple little pieces starting. It's absolutely beautiful, great shape. It's still real pliable. The backs are awesome. I'm pretty sure it's all original, because that's your Mercury or Colony Park or some kind of stinking thing of an emblem embossed in there. Same thing, it's in the wheel. Hope that didn't fade too much. The wheel's in good shape. It's got a couple cracks here. This laminate usually all strips apart. Uh, it's in good shape, a couple cracks down there. Pedal wear is in good shape. Kick piece is good, the carpet's good. It's got some stains in it. We didn't shampoo it or nothing. Be sure to clean up nicer. I don't know the miles. I think it really is 77, um, according to the motor and all. Did I show you the motor? I just took pictures of it. I don't think I showed it to you. Headliner is splitting right there, and it's came down in a few spots, and we actually took it the rest of the way down in the back. Um, I'm gonna continue around the back, though. I'll show you the back seat. I really don't know if you're gonna find anything wrong with the back seats. A little speck there. They don't even look like they've been sat in. Wish I'd have learned how to take that down. I'll bet you it's on the other side. Oh, I see it. Oh, I need to, um... let's get the window down and do that. Show you the rest of the interior. Like I say, all these door panels are in great shape. This could be shined out, polished up. I didn't do anything like that to it. You can see the blemishes. Um, the carpet's overlaying there a bit. The factory carpeting, it just needs to be put underneath that piece. That's all it is. That's exactly what it is. That piece comes up and done deal. This should be a simple push it down and lay her down. Beautiful. Light works up there. It's got some nice Sony Explode. Looks like the tweeters broke on that one. We'll look up close in a second. Almost around to the front. This has been pretty quick. What's that? We're locked out. Hmm, I don't like it. Let's see here. Oh, it works. Not a very big catch for it. Carpeting is missing on the bottom side over here. I believe that's the only one it is. Beautiful thing. It looks great here. There's an aftermarket floor mat in it. Kick panel right down there is in great shape. Got it on the passenger and the driver. Look at the size of that glove box. <laughs> There's my arm. I don't know if you can see that. Ride engineered, don't know what all that means. Extra bulbs and stuff. Hey, that's cool. Little bin thing there. 
Um, this vehicle requires, requires vehicle maintenance schedule A. Actually, there's some notes there. Aftermarket gauges. I'm not going to try the door locks until I'm inside of it. How's that? Okay, I thought I might have showed this because I had done the pictures. But look at this. Absolutely beautiful. This car has had some work done to it lately. Um, upkeep, maintenance, you can see new tape on it. All the plugs and stuff there. And plugs. Threads. It's in great shape. I'm sure you'll find a damp gasket or something somewhere. I showed you on the back. That water pump's been replaced recently. Something like this, they've all been replaced, right? Have to have been. This is a cool little um, engine kill type thing. Um, when I drove it for about 15 minutes, it did the old womp, womp. When I started it. So, you know. AC belt is on. We'll see if that holds a charge. This is wrapped around it and it's not tied on to nothing. So, wherever this plugs into, it's not plugged into. So, I'm going to say that the AC likely doesn't work. Although it seems to all be there. Look at how beautiful. Cruise control and everything. And it's in great shape. The car, look at that factory. I hope it's factory. I think it is. It looks all factory. But I just seen that fan shroud. Man, nice. Okay. And you see it hasn't been painted under the hood and everything, and the hood insulation is missing. Um, the light bulb is missing. And this isn't wired anything. Looks like they didn't finish a couple things. It looks like there was only one of these missing when they yanked the liner off if even that was missing opens and closes and shuts all nicely okay i'm gonna go ahead and ride back to the shop with you and show you there again for the heck of it just because we're here actually i was gonna do that hang on now let's do that at the shop the taking down the tailgate showing 77 i don't doubt it She said it leaked tranny fluid. I'll tell you what, I couldn't get it to leak any. So, that was the deal with that. I just couldn't get it to replicate that. It did do a couple trips of oil. That's about it. Now I'm gonna have to sit here because I am not gonna fight what's coming there. Just give you a close up of the beautiful mountains. As we Hit the road. And I'm only a little bit down from my shop here. That um, needle takes a little while to pop up there. That's what she might have felt right there. It kind of bogged down a little and it didn't want to go. It seemed more electrical type of. Not electrical, I mean. That little breather box that's on it. it didn't seem like it was a tranny issue. It was a tranny seems to go. So for my short experience, this car seems to run great with a little leak. It's about the worst I can say about it. Uh, I am not going to attempt my... <laughs> Let's see if it does a 40 again. Does it go just fine, man? I'm sure you're going to do something to this car. It is not perfect. But, God, it runs good. Rumble strips. Rumble strips. Almost missed the second set. Okay, we'll leave this bad boy kind of sprawled out. Look at that Lincoln Town car up there. It's a nice car. 
I'm gonna back this up a little bit. Some gauges like right now. Hey, let's do a quick test on this one. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. A little bit of a glitch in that switch, maybe. Not really, it did it the second time just fine. Be fast, too. That one's a little slow going down. If you don't hold it down, it won't go down. That one's not moving. So they could use some lubing on that. The mirrors work, I know that. Let's try that AC out, why don't we? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna take the window down with the switch and you can see it going down. There we go. I'm gonna leave that go for a second while we uh, go down the back. I got a couple old Mercedes, that thing's just a little parts car. Okay, let's see here. Open from the inside. Okay, hang this around my neck. Sorry, I'm gonna have to look at that for a second. Pulls down just fine. Wow, is this locked? I think that's locked. This AC is not blowing cold. Kind of cool, but it's kind of cool out. Not, this car does not smell that it has been smoked in. Let's check the ashtray. It doesn't look to have been smoked in. do that. They work really good. Pop these lights on. High beams. God. I don't know where you can hear that best at. Let's turn this off for a second. See if it gives me the womp womp. There you go. So it could be getting the solenoid a little warm. Something to that effect. Let's show you this again as we say goodbye in a way. The battery could die. Oh, the car. On the camera. Beagles are barking at him. Like, look out, bud. All the lights are good. And yes, I do see now that that tweeter has popped out of the center of there. Hang on. Versus that one's not. You want a new set of speakers? Just talk to Samantha when you're doing your car deal, and I'll hook you up cheap. I do not know, do not know, do not know. I don't think this is the right key for this. It's not. It ain't turning. Well, there could be literal gold bars in there. And I'm going to have to just say, sorry, but I don't know what's in there. It ain't even the spare. Oh, it's a third row seat. That's right. The spare's in here. And this piece has popped out a little bit because the spare is too big. So it's got too big of a spare. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna try something else. Hang on a sec. There's a mirror going up, or mirror, window going up from the key motor. I can't open it on the swing door, but it does. I just can't get the switch to work. Also, that piece along the side right there is broken. Okay, that was your interior. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Call me anytime, gotta get these lights off. We'll talk to you.